What is going on guys? We got more World Cup and we got Benge aka Kring versus Sakis playing for Team Greece. Uh, Greece might already be out of the World Cup. I can't really check the score or anything because my net is really slow at the moment. Yeah, Kring uh, is playing for US West if I'm not mistaken. He shows Pro League Ninja turn 1. We still no, we see no life orb, so it's either um, Choice Scarf or Expert Belt maybe. Could also be Z-Move Greninja. At first when I saw this team I was thinking um, that it could be uh, Z-Move Chandelure. But this looks like a cool balanced team. He did double out in the landers um, in case this had um, Lightning Rod to block the Volt Switch. That was, that was a really cool play. How does he do it? <laughs> yeah, I can't record the, as many games as I was planning to because my fast internet died and the slow internet is like really annoying. Like sometimes I just disconnect and sometimes the sprites just lag really badly. He goes for a U-turn. It has a good chunk to Lodari that might even be offensive Lando. So yeah, he goes for a U-turn, pretty sure there's a Scarf Grin. I'm thinking it's... Yeah, I'm thinking it's Z-Move Majorna now that I look at the team because... Amongst us are usually Spadev to take on Ash Greninja. So I don't think this would be the um, AV. It would be some sort of offensive Megina, I'm not, sh not sure if... Z not sure, yeah, I was about to say it could be Trick Room, it could be... Um, Shift gear, it could be Calm Mind, so Trick Room, probably Trick Room 3 attacks, um, Z move, not sure which Z move yet, yesterday I saw Z Fleur Cannon, what Flash Cannon used, the question is what does the Trick Room even do, because the Trick Room helps the Marowak, right, <laughs> Abby has it, Wreck just wins, like the Trick Room kind of helps his opponent out here, if his land is offensive that's not a good switch in either, we ninja obviously gets outsped now, so I don't know if Trick Room, setting up Trick Room was the play. He probably predicted something else to come out. He's gonna go, um, okay, Alamomola. Mans just sets up the rocks. <laughs> Does not care if the mirror would have stayed in and gone for SD or something like that. I mean, yeah, a little memory kind of is an obvious Magina switching, so that was a bit weird. <laughs> Well, he brought that out, but I'm not gonna. Um, I'm not gonna criticize his play because it's Ben the God. So this time, he made double on the Merrick. Yeah, exactly. He does pull the double switch. There he go. There we go. Now he can go for U-turn because even if the Merrick stays in, he has an Intimidate off on that, but he just goes for Earthquake. That does a lot. Yeah, that's definitely offensive landers. So he's gonna protect here, I wish. And Chandelure, if it's sub call mine, that's an option. We saw the Greninja was Choice Scarf, so it's not gonna be... It's not gonna be a Choice Scarf. This is either Specs or Z-Move or something or sub... No, it's not Z-Move. That's Choice Specs, I think, that it's so much. Like, uh, we, I was sure, like, pretty sure that the Z-Move is on the Majorna, so... What I was trying to say is the... Chandelure before it came out, when it came out I was thinking it was either Specs or Subcommand. So, <laughs> why the fuck did I say that? so weird. Yeah, he's just gonna roost up here. He was a pretty nice check for the Zygarde. He's gonna defog the rocks away here. And we'll see if Benge pulls a double again, predicting the Merrick to come out. He does not pull a double. And he goes for Hidden Power. But it's not HP fire, so I'm wondering what hidden power it is. Is it hidden power ground? It was neutral. Usually, the, the only hidden power I ever saw used on Magina was hidden power fire, but hidden power ground could be an option. It's kind of specific to hit Merowak and Heatran. There's the Z move. Is it the Twinkle Tackle? Yup. Push that Merowak over for 85% off the screen, my guy. I don't think this Merowak would be minimum in speed, so. I might outspeed the Majorna if the Majorna has min speed. Still waiting for Mazar vs. Um, Ray Scarface. Germany needs uh, win needs to win that game pretty bad. Pretty badly. 
How healthy is this Landris? Yeah, he's probably just gonna go Landris here. And what does he do? Fire Punch. So that makes me think that he's for sure Lightning Rod Marowak. Because on the Rocket Marowak, you usually run Flare Blitz, right? So he's gonna go for Earthquake here. Oh, he turned. Sets up the rocks. <laughs> I love how he did exactly the, the different play that I said. <laughs> But he can go for off, but he can chip this down. Like, it's kind of the same thing. And I'm thinking that this is off played Landris because that did so much. Like, I'm not sure, but it's. That did so much. Like, holy. If it's not off played Landris, the is offensive. Goes for rocks again. Really nice play by Ben. I can see a lot going for trick here. Predicting, like, the Mew to come out. But he does go into. Uh, in a Zygarde. So he did predict the Majorna, but the Mew also could have come out on the Lari. And Mew is just gonna click Roost here. I can see him going into. Yeah, he has to go Tapu Fini in default, kinda, but his Tapu Fini is low. He goes in Herald Cross. Maybe he's Guts and he does not fear Will Wisp. Or maybe he's Jolly Heracross and he knows that he can outspeed this. Not sure if Jolly Heracross would Oko this though. Mew does mi whiz a Milo <laughs> Mew does miss a Willow Wisp. Which is definitely really annoying. I think he's guts because he didn't Mega Evolve. Or, or he was thinking he was faster. If he was thinking he was fast and he didn't Mega Evolve, then that, that was a really lucky dodge. Like, that was a really lucky dodge if he was not guts. But I assume he was guts. I think West has a good chance to make next round. Or playoff, however it's called. I always mix that up. He's just gonna pin missile on nice play in the Magina. And the Magina is max HP. But I'm not sure. Like I think a close combat will kill the Magina. Like a trick room Magina, you would think it's max HP, right? Pivot into Landris on a CC, and now you can break the substitute. From the Heracross. And then he can go on the channel lure and click Fire Blast and get his kill. As Saki is gonna be forced to sack probably the Merurek, maybe the Lottie because the Lottie is low. But he kinda wants the Lottie because the Lottie is like his fastest mon. Like his team is really slow other than the Lottie. Any other games that I missed? Did any other games start? That are interesting for me for World Cup? It does not look like it. Yep, Earthquick obviously breaks the substitute. It might have probably broken even without the defense drop if this is like an offensive off played Lando. And uh, he can just click Shadow Ball here and get a kill. If it's really specs, I don't think the Alamomola can switch in at all. I mean, I think it's specs. Shadow Ball did 65 to the Zygarde. Um, Chandelure. Choice specs versus Zygarde. Shadow Ball does. Yeah, yeah, I see the 65 if I recall correctly. So I assume it's specs. That's timid specs, yeah. I'm thinking he's gonna select the Mirror Rack, like I said. I definitely gotta grab my charger after this game. Not that my computer dies when I record another game later on. On my laptop. I mean, Merowak is at 50%. Even if you get rid of the rocks, what is Merowak doing for you at this point? You just sacked the Lottie instead. Interesting decision because Lari could have been nice to like if he gets rid of the Majorna, Lari can basically trick the Mew and cripple it like that. 
because Mew is really annoying for him. So he goes into this, he's confident that he outspeeds the Chandelure. Why is he confident that he outspeeds it? Is he... was he Jolly Zygarde? I'm not really sure about that. I don't know if he was willing to sack the Among Us. He does have Sludge Bomb and he gets rid of the Tapu Fini after the Defog. Yeah, Marek should outspeed the Among Us for sure. Uncle Ben's nice nickname. Um, he cannot... I don't know if he wants to click Fire Punch because Chandelure can come in on Fire Punch. Even though I don't think Bengay would ever risk it and go hard into Chandelure because Chandelure gets a kill every time it comes in on this or on the Heracross. Uh, if it comes in on the Heracross, yeah, it also kind of gets a kill. That's true. But the Zygarde is already so low. Yeah, I was missed on the on the Heracross earlier. Like even if he had guts, he couldn't Mega Evolve if he didn't have if he was burned. So that miss sucked for sure. Like the ship damage on Hera would have been nice. I really hope that Yeah, he did fire punch because like I said, I don't think there was Bengay was ever going hard channel, it's way too risky. He's just gonna click Shadow Ball here, like I don't see a reason to click a fire move when Shadow Ball basically kills everything. Uh, Heracross might live one at 63, but uh, I'm not sure, like it's a standard lure. Heracross, if it's this 112 HP, yeah it doesn't live, unless he gets a min roll. I mean yeah, he just throws it in there and it dies. It was probably sub 3 attacks, I don't think he has SD. I'm still not sure why he always sends out the Zygarde as if he's faster. Uh, maybe he calked and saw that, found out that the Chandler was modest? Oh, never mind. Zygarde outspeeds. It's 289. Okay, I, I did not know that Zygarde outspeeds. That's my fault. For some reason, I thought that Chandler was faster with Timid Nature than Element Zygarde. Okay, that was my bad, guys. He doubled out into Murak on the Mew and Shadowbone got another kill. That was a nice play on Sarkis' part as Shenalu comes back in to get a kill. Energy Ball blows the Almola away. I don't think that was necessary. I think he could have just clicked Shadow Ball, but it's fine. Because the Murak was in range from Energy Ball probably because it's choice bags. So it doesn't make a difference. And just in case Shadow Ball was a... Like if he got low rolls and Almola could potentially lift that. Is it a 50-50 they're saying? I don't know if the Smoktus chat is trolling me. Yeah. I don't know if there was a 50-50. Just Ice Beam doesn't kill it and now Shandalu wins the game. I mean Ice Beam might even kill the Marowak. It does kill and Bengay picks up the 2-0 victory. So yeah, the main mistake that I made in this... I did not understand why he doubled out early with the Zygarde. But I should have I should have checked the speed tiers better because... Now that I saw here that Zygarde uh, with Element outspeeds even Timid Chandler, it's pretty obvious that it, that his play made sense. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I think this was his second game, Pranks. He's 2 0. Not sure if he will um, still play another one. He should play another one, right? Later on, everyone plays three games. And I thank you guys for watching, and I see you with more World Cup coverage uh, later. Doc signing out.